Dryad Crest, Scoreboard Scrapper, and Escort Quest, guys. We need to peek the enemies to see if they take an augment. What is he getting? Only an item component. Okay. Dryad Crest. I go Nar reroll. How bad is that? Probably not that bad, right? Probably not that bad because um. Fate hunts you today. Nice. Probably not that bad because. I do get the thing, what's it called? I just play double Nar. This world needs hope. Am I leveling here? I guess so, right? It's probably not that bad because I do get the stuff. What's it called? We are on loot subscription, so we can get more Dryad emblems. And then we can e easily access six Dryad, which makes Nar really strong usually. Makes him super strong if you get six Dryad. And usually you need an emblem and you need um, you need the legendary Azir, right? Which is very hard to get if you're re-rolling a 3 cost. But this game, we might be able to do it. Because, uh, again, we don't need to find the legendary, right? We can get 6 Dryad without it. And that's going to give us a lot of health on this Nar. Like a ton of health on this Nar. Um, in shadow. Is it even this though? I feel like I don't even get stronger. I feel like the Nar is so tanky. Yeah, I don't even get stronger. Okay, so how how are we doing this? Usually you go Senna reroll as well, right? With Nar reroll, but I don't think we can go Senna reroll. I think we'll just go uh, Kindred reroll, which is a little bit weak though, right? But it's fine. If we get six uh, Dryad, we'll be strong. Because 6 Dryad is so much health. 11 per enemy that dies during the game. Like at, at any point. So the more enemies we kill early game, the better. So that's why I was leveling there. I'm trying to be as strong as possible. But this guy is way too tanky. This stupid Yasuo and Thresh connection is just so broken. Ah, it's just silly, man. There's nothing you can do. It's just beyond broken. Whenever you see that early game, it's just a loss. Every single time. Uh, it will get Giga Nerf, probably. Okay, so which... which mm, I mean, Reaper, we're not gonna 3-star another Reaper. We just chill, right? This is fine. This is okay, let me put all the Dryad units in the little box. Um, Rek'Sai, it's kinda crazy that I don't have a Rek'Sai yet, right? That is kinda crazy. These are the Dryad units, and then we want... We want to play Warden. We want to play Warden. Thing is, we need to 3-star something else as well. We need to 3-star some other stuff as well. Another Yasuo, another Lost Guys. Another Yasuo, another loss. You know what? Frick it. Hold the Yasuos to grief them. Nah, whatever. It's really bad that we're fighting these Yasuos because um, we do not get to kill a single unit. Because that's how Yasuo works. You do not kill a singular unit. If you're against Yasuo. If he takes that, I lose. Okay, nice. Alright, we get our Titans. So the best Nar build is probably a tit double Titans Bloodthirster. If we get Gargantuan Titans, that would be nice. But Nar got nerfed a little bit too much in my opinion, so I'm not sure if I'm smart for doing this. I'm basically gambling on another Dryad Emblem, which, you know, has a high chance of happening with loot subscription. You can also craft a Dryad Emblem, so if we get, um, if we get a spatula, we can also... Nice, that is big, that's what we needed. Now we're back in the game. There we go, guys, that's what we needed. We are in back. Darkness, we find ourselves. Okay, I could level here just to play Bruiser as well. But nah. I mean, honestly, it's worth though, right? I think it's worth because uh, winning is everything with Dryad as early as possible. So, um. So, uh, let me think about this. So, loot subscription. What is the item that crafts? I think it's a tier. Is it a tier? No, it's a belt. Okay, a belt. Okay. Belt is how we get the emblem. And spatula. 
Yeah, hopefully we get another emblem. That's gonna make it really comfy. We just need Orn. Orn and we get six dry out and that's gonna be super strong. Nice, he kills everything. He's getting more health. Let's go. This is good. Uh, this could be a kindred item. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to 3-star kindred. She doesn't feel that strong, usually. But I guess it's the only other carry, right? It's the only real option that we have. Jenna gives you the choice between different champions. Gain two random two cost champions. Okay. Unlucky. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll make him. He can win the fight at least. Uh, double Senna. Again, like Senna usually is a unit you want to 3-star with this comp. But I don't think we will do it here because we, we are playing 6 Dryad. I think you do it if you don't have a Dryad emblem, you know? You just play 2 Dryad and you're happy. And this guy's already going to 3-star Senna, right? That's okay. We'll just sell the Senna anyway. I'm selling the Senna here for sure. Do I have enough money? This is 6. If I win, I have enough. Hopefully we win. He has a scary front line, but not a very scary back line. It's just a one-star Kog'Maw. This should be easy. He doesn't have a combat augment either. We have four Dryad already, so we're getting a decent amount of bonus health. Now again, this is not one of the S-tier comps, but I think I have a very good start for it. So even if it's a B-tier comp, I think we can do well. Just because we have such an amazing start for it, right? And we can get six Dryad, and I think we can get a top three with it. We'll probably lose to someone playing a Philios reroll or Bard reroll or something, or full legendary board level 9. But we will still get a top 3, hopefully. Um, also, can we include Exalted? Not really, right? No, 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 no. Okay, so... Now let me just think about this. I want double Titans. Gargantuan Titans is the best thing by far that we can get here. By far, best thing. Oh, by far best thing, huh? And this will give us a Tattoo of Force. A Tattoo of Force is very good, though. So playing Senna would still be nice for this, but eh. Ah, I just have to go full Dryad. With more frontline. There's another Titan's possibility. There's a Jewel Gauntlet. Potentially as well. Even Shroud on Orn. That's really good. There is the second Titans. Okay. I think we will commit to it, and if we get Gargantuan Titans, we will still just go for it. Another cheap uh, drop. Disappointing, bro. This 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 augment, the, uh, this portal is not what it used to be, guys. This portal is freaking disappointing nowadays. It really is, man. Okay, I'm gonna just go even shroud on him. And I think I'll just go Jewel Gauntlet on her and call it a day. Remember, Jewel Gauntlet with Reaper, she's gonna get more crit damage. She's gonna get crit damage. Reaper allows her to crit then, but the Jewel Gauntlet will give her 10% crit damage, which is still good. So that's fine. Two Reaper with Jewel Gauntlet is still good, still fine. So one blue buff on her, right? I mean, we have perfect Gnar items, we have a lot of Gnars, so this is looking good. We're never gonna sell her, of course, we're never selling anything. Okay, what do we get here? Another Dryad Emblem? Or, uh, Gargantuan Titans? Long Distance Pals is very good. Spirit Guardians, gain a Garen and a Jax. Mulched, I think this is really good, right? The Dryads deal 10% additional damage, every round gain two Dryad stacks as well, so we snowball really hard. We get a bunch of bonus health. Alright. Alright, let's go. And we get another Gnar. Wow, okay. Okay, this is looking promising now. This is looking promising. We're gonna snowball our bonus health extremely fast. And then we'll just be very strong. We need a new Warden. That's what we need right about now. I don't want to level here. I think it's too expensive, but playing double Gnar is kind of good. I think I just gotta keep the tempo up, right? Uh, just keep, keep the tempo up, bro. Keep the tempo up. We have huge tempo. Just keep it up. Keep getting the kills. Keep getting the freaking kills. To get uh, as many drive stacks as possible. Enemies killed 18. We're getting two per round for free. And then the, the kills that we get. And at 6 Dryad, all of these stacks will be 11 health. Per... Like, per stack. 11 
HP. That's so much, man. We can definitely reach like a 6,000 health. Ah, probably not. That's probably too much. But like a 5,000, 4,500 health, boy, for sure. Three star, yeah. For sure. 6k is probably... Actually, you could reach 6k. I'm telling you, you could reach 6k. I'm not even kidding. Uh, nice, we got a new uh, Warden, because now we can get uh, this on through him, because he's going to be much tankier now with our even Shroud. That is exactly what we want. That is exactly what we want, guys. And then here, our Nar will get focused, but that's fine. He's going to get Titan stacks. Someone has a two-star Thresh already, which is a little bit of a problem. But he doesn't have a good front uh, backline. I mean, it is good, though, because he has uh, Syndra. Four cost, still fine. He's gonna do enough damage. Hopefully, we can keep winning this these fights now because we are really strong right now. It looked like my Nar died, but uh, his health bar was behind the enemy's health bar, exactly lined up, exactly lined up. So it really looked like I was dead. Like it was on the pixel lined up. I was like, what? How do you get one shot by nothing? Literally nothing. But yeah, he didn't, of course, he didn't. So the way Narn works, he has AP ratios. And they determine two star, two cost champions. Don't tell them, guys! Shut your mouth! DON'T FREAKING TELL THEM! WHAT THE FRICK IS THIS?! WHAT THE FRICK IS THIS?! JESUS MAN! DESERVED BY THE WAY GUYS! WELL DESERVED! Well freaking deserved, guys. Finally, some lucky games, man. One lucky game after three hours. Finally, guys. Deserved. Nar just jerks himself off like a boss, guys. He just summons himself for free. The Nar encounter gives us a three-star Nar. Giga jerk, guys. Oh my god, two-star Thresh. I don't give a frick about you, man. Holy, I, I, okay guys, this is just, this is just beautiful, man. Because now we don't have to three-star this worthless unit that I was talking about, how she's not that good, he's very good, she's not that good. Now we can just go level 9, we can play a zero with Jewel Gauntlet, and we can win the game for free. We can play a two-star Azir, and win the game for free, guys. The game is over now. Well deserved. I'll still buy her, because until I get an Azir, it's still a long time. Alright, I mean, GG, I guess. I'm gonna keep the Gnar in the team planner just to make sure I know what I'm buying here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go full Warden, right? Just get damage reduction on Gnar. I think full Warden makes the most sense here. Four Warden here. If we can reach level 10, we'll play six Warden. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Just get damage reduction. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. We'll play Fated and stuff. We'll play better. Like, level 9, we definitely play Fated because this guy's four Warden. And we give him, right? We give him the emblem. We give him the emblem, guys. He's gonna be Chico Chad. It's gonna be so good. Uh, so who's who's the freaking guy? Who's the freaking dude that we play? Just Syndra as our as our fated unit. It's not bad. Or actually, no, Thresh, Thresh for uh, Behemoth. Thresh for Behemoth. What the frick was that sound? Is that Nar? Holy base! When I thought he can't get any more base, he makes the most disgusting ogre sound I've ever, I've ever laid my eyes upon. That makes no sense. You don't lay your eyes upon the sound. Right, so the way Nar works, guys, he has an AP ratio. Gain attack damage upon attacking or getting hit up to 50 times. And that bonus attack damage that he gets scales with AP. So Titans gives him more attack damage, but also more AP, which in turn gives him more attack damage through his passive. And then he also gets more AP from Dryad. The deeper you go, the more AP you get from Dryad. That's also nice.
Bro, th this loot subscription is so boring nowadays, man. It's actually crazy. It blows my mind. So freaking boring, man. I mean, I think I just go Ionic Spark, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I just go Ionic Spark here. Like, what else am I doing? I'm pretty sure it's Ionic Spark. And then I have a Mumu. I mean, I should have leveled, but do, do I really lose? Not really, right? I mean, I should have leveled anyway. Like, what if I do lose? I'm a freaking idiot, guys. I should have played 4 Warden. I'm playing 4 Warden, right? Instead of Kane, who cares about uh, Reaper? The Gnar just needs to solo carry. He's just 1v9 right now. Yeah. Who cares about Reaper, man? Alright. Yeah, th this uh, loot subscription got heavily nerfed, right? It's it's not as fun. I'm just gonna stop voting for it. It's always a letdown. Gives you some boring stuff now. I think it's a portable forge. Actually, actually, it's ascension, right? Ascension. Little buddies is not that good. Gifts from the fallen is insane, right? Oh, this is insane. The Nari is just gonna one v nine. Holy frick! The last time I ate a plant. Wait, wh wh what other Dryad am I missing, by the way? Oh yeah, another emblem or a Zier, but I didn't get a Zier, so... I didn't get an emblem, so... That makes sense. I mean, I'm for sure just playing Warden 4. Yeah, I mean, this is the best, I think. This is the best, I think, bro. I think this is just the best thing I can play here. Yeah, it's better than Orn. And we keep we keep Bruiser and we keep Ghostly. That's pretty good. Keep Bruiser and Ghostly. What is this? A three-star Garen? That's weird. No carry augment, by the way. That's weird. He's going dead last. No offense. That's freaking weird, man. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen, man. I just get a free three-star Nar. I didn't roll a single time. A three-star Nar for free. Nine Nars for free. Straight up for free. You got emblem on Aatrox, little bro. <sighs> bro, do, do you have to be like? Do you know that if you say something wrong, like, and then you, it's already embarrassing. But then if you add little bro to to add like an arrogant undertone to it, it's like giga embarrassing. I'm talking about the second augment. Like I've been talking for, uh, I, I, I'm talking about the second emblem. Like I've been talking about for the last 15 minutes of this game, brother man. Obviously, I have a freaking emblem on him. It, I mean, it, like, you can do whatever you want. You can embarrass yourself. I'm not banning you for that one. I'm just saying it's embarrassing. I'm just saying, bro. You put a little bro there, it's just embarrassing. If you just said... Wait, but you have an emblem. You have it on Aatrox. I'll be like, oh no, I mean a second one. But you added the little bro. You you had to add the little bro, man. You had to add it. Make a fool out of yourself. You did it. Uh, you did it, bro. Yeah, it is what it is. Look at this Nar just throwing the boulders, man, like a freaking Babus, man. Look at him, man. Then he just does the gorilla thing. Yeah, man. Like a silver back alpha gorilla Babus. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Look, he's trying to he's trying to court Kindred. Look, he's trying to impress her, and she's just shuffling. She's just shuffling for free, man. Ah, oh, man, for free. I'm not gonna get this though. Let's be real. Ah, uh, for free though. Frick it. Frick it. No one wants it. They're all insane, mentally insane. Mental a asylum lobby. No, frick. I'm the only one going to the mental asylum, guys. Sad. I mean, I'm just going Giant Slayer, right? Okay, I guess not. I mean, I'm just going... I'm just going this. Whatever, man. I'm just going this. I'm never going 3-star. I'm gonna frick this unit. <coughs> okay, what am I doing here? I mean, I'm leveling because it's free. And then what am I playing? Just Reaper again? I guess, yeah. The, the Orn doesn't do anything, right? This is Bruiser. The Orn doesn't do anything yet. Level 9, I just roll for 1 and 0, and then I go level 10. 
I go level 10. I'm on a massive win streak with mulch and stuff as well. I just have so much health. Look, I already have 79 stacks. I have 700 bonus health and I'm not even six. I'm going to almost double it. Not really. Well, let's just imagine seven uh, times two is 11. Frick it. Let's just imagine it. It's not even close, but frick it. I'm going to I'm going to get crazy amounts, man. I'm going to get like 2000 health bonus in late game, I think. Yeah, at the end of the game, I think I'll reach 2000 health. On the drive bonus. He's gonna have 5k health easily, yeah? He's gonna have 5k health. Not really. But maybe. I have... I have, Look. I one-shot Udyr with one stone. Gifts from the Fallen gives him AP and AD. And the AP transforms into AD. Oh my god. For the next three rounds. That's fine. That's fine though. Like, it seems bad, right? Because I just leveled... But like you can't predict that, right? It's fine. It's fine. We can still we can still level. We, we just do it in three turns, and we'll be level nine for like for free, man. That's crazy. It's crazy, guys. We just one shot Udir. Like yes, it's a one star Udir, but still it's a freaking Udir. And this guy is not known for one shotting. His his ult only costs sixty mana, right? It's not supposed to one shot, but I straight up one shot him without a crit. I need to uh, pay attention how much damage it deals. I need to pay attention to the number. When he's the only one remaining with all the stacks from Gifts from the Fallen. <coughs> this is actually insane, guys. This is actually completely nasty. 69% attack damage. 94% attack damage. 1,500 damage on the ult. 133% attack damage. What the frick is this unit? I mean, I got the best augments. 1,900 damage. 2,000 damage on one ult. 2,000 damage. 239 bonus attack. 649 attack damage. What the frick is this? I don't think I've ever seen 600. I don't. I th I've seen 500, 550. I don't think I've seen 600 ever. I don't think I've seen 600, bro. I'll keep it a buck. Oh, yeah. Udir is OP, right? Should I go Set with Dryad or Udir with Dryad? I feel like Set would be so fun. <coughs> I think Set. I think Set. Because Set is gonna keep squatting the Gnar and the Orn with a bunch of bonus, dam bonus health. And he's gonna get infinite attack damage. He's gonna get infinite permanent attack damage. So might as well just keep him to give him the bonus health as well. Because the bonus health is gonna just keep him longer alive. And he's just gonna hard just gonna hard carry. I mean I, I of course I'm unlucky. Frick you, you stupid game man. You stupid mother trucker man. I mean I think it's just bruiser emblem. I think it's just bruiser emblem on Orn. That's fine, honestly, who cares? I could go Reaper on set, but who cares? I think it's bruiser emblem on Orn. Oh, I only have this round to level up. Should have leveled, it's fine. Wait, 63 to level? I could just level immediately again. Like a freaking mentally ill idiot. What do you think, guys? Level up again like a mentally ill freaking idiot. The thing is, I need a, I need a kindred. I don't have a kindred. Mentally ill mode engaged. The thing is, it's not even fun though. It's not even fun to lose because of it. That's a Shojin diff. I think it's good. Okay, so I don't, I don't have a kindred, guys. I don't have a kindred. I need a freaking kindred, man. I mean, now I can't do it anymore. Right now, I, I'll just roll. I need one Azir, one Kindred. I mean, I'm not gonna roll anymore, bro. I'm not, I'm not rolling anymore, bro. That's for sure. I know I could keep playing the thing. Nah, I'm not rolling anymore, bro. I'm just gonna go level 10 now. Yeah, I'm not rolling. Nah, I'm not rolling. 
I think we play Faith and give lifesteal to the set. I think we win anyway, right? Like, Udyr would be the best, but like, we win anyway, no? We win anyway. I mean, what do we play on, on this? Just play Arcanist, friggin'. Play Arcanist, yeah. Why not? Yeah, play Arcanist. Lissandra, friggin'. So I'm not playing these guys. I right, freaking play Arcanist here. Lissandra, this is my team. This is my team. Just call it a day with this. How much health does uh, Nar have? 3,800. I'm getting 1,481 health. Yeah. 121 total enemies killed. Oh boy. That's pretty silly. I could just YOLO reforge this. Just so I still have a kindred. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what if I don't find kindred? Do you make Ginsu and give items to Azir? I do not have a kindred, otherwise she would have been sold long ago to give the items to Azir. We probably can lose a fight. Yeah, we lost, we lost, we lose this fight. But that's okay, right? That's not a big deal. Also, I mispositioned, that's why I lost this fight. I just positioned badly. Get a way to copy Kindred. I mean, the game is almost over. But yeah, that's a, that's a that's a that's a reasonable thing we can do. Yeah, we just play a Huey instead of Lissandra to copy the Kindred. Oh, or how about that? And no one's taking it because why would they? Why would they take it? Why would they grief me? Right? They're not gonna grief me. They're not gonna grief me because they know I already won. Why would they grief me? They're trying to get second, right? That's all that matters. They're fighting for the second place. Okay, now I never need Kindred. I can just ditch Kindred. Like a Baus. Yeah. Hey, yep. Break this stupid Kindred. I think I'm down to Reforge Bow. I mean, Morello is good. Who gets it though? Out of these units. Also, we're playing uh, four, four uh, thingies now. What's another behemoth I can play here? Shen for Ghostly? Uh, Morello on Azir feels a little bit annoying. It's fine. But like, I, I want the juicer Azir, you know? But honestly, it's fine, bro. Like, how is it, how is it bad on him, man? It's not even that bad, man. It's attack speed, it's AP. Calls down two component anvils. Okay, free. I'm gonna get a better item. I'm gonna get a better item for Azir. Hodge or Archangel? I think it's Hodge. Frick it. Lifesteal Azir like a boss. And then we just give this to Nautilus or something. That seems fine in my book. That seems fine in my book, guys. That's a big ult. That's a big freaking ult the Nautilus had. Redemption has so much value, who cares, bro? I'm, I, I don't think I care about Frontline. I think I just win this game for free anyway, right? I'm just trying to build the coolest team. Which I think double crit Azir with uh, 65 bonus AP from this is gonna do so much damage. And he has some lifesteal so he can't die to like backline, backline damage like Morgana, for example. Holy frick, 300 bonus attack damage. 740, Three, 2300 damage. That is wild, guys. That is freaking wild. That is wild. Alright, so we sell this guy. We find a set. The thing is, we can't stack up the set anymore that much. That's the sad part. We can't stack up the freaking set much anymore. Because he's... Uh, he, the game's almost there, over. A zero 3 angle. No. Clearly not. It's a zero 3 angle. 
when you have hedge fund gold prismatic ticket and like 50 gold more than I have right now. Then it's a zero three angle, yeah. Good job, everyone. Like this, man. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's still not a zero three angle, though. Okay, honestly, it might be now. My fate on anybody. <laughs> Bro, the set could scale so hard, man. But like, it's not gonna work, man. Like, we'll just win too fast. Thirty five health. Frick. We'll win too fast. Okay, honestly, he's level 10. Oh, but we can't even get 3-star Azir, right? Because he's level 10. We can't even get 3-star Azir. He, he has a, an Azir. He's holding Azir. We can't even get it. He's holding one. Can I get a 2-star set? Also, what am I missing, bro? Oh, yeah, I'm missing Syndra, right? All right. Looks pretty good to me. This is a good freaking team, isn't it? I mean, he's pretty strong too, though. He's pretty freaking strong too. Wait, am I not supposed to play four Behemoth? Oh no, I don't have Syndra in the team. Okay, I can't play four Behemoth. Okay, that's fine. I can't play 4 Behemoth. Look how strong the Udyr 1 star is with just the thing. Nah, he can't win, man. He's probably gonna FF, right? He's trying to get 3 star, uh, 3 star, um, Galio. 3 star Galio is what he's gunning for. I mean, we deny it, right? Like a Baus, we deny it. We deny it like a Baus. He's holding a Zir, right? Wait, he's not holding a Zir, technically. Pretty trash. Who cares? Nobody. I mean, he doesn't have that many Galios, though. He only has seven. He needs two more. He's not gonna hit. He's not gonna hit anyway. I'm not gonna hit this. I'm not gonna hit this here. If he hits three star Galio and I lose, I could just sack some rounds and then sell everything to hit three star Azir. Lost. Last ditch effort, but I should probably just roll down and try to deny his 3-star Galio. Which we will do. I, I think he's dead here, right? 18 damage. I think I can do it. 2,100 bonus health. 321, 759 damage. Attack damage. Oh, it's still not over. Is there a Galio? There is no Galio. Redemption. Sounds pretty good to me. Look at this guy, by the way. He's a bruiser as well. He has 5,400 health. <laughs> and he gets a shield that scales with bonus health, with max health. It's 1,800 shield. Galio. Give me more Galios, frick it. I'm not throwing this game. Azir 2, another one. I'm holding a Galio. I think I'll put this on him. Just because he's between the two most tanky guys, right? Instead of putting it on the other guy. Alright, I mean, we, we won, huh? 185 stacks. We'll, we'll reach... We won't reach 500, unfortunately. Uh, 200, unfortunately. And this guy is getting... He already has 69% attack damage from squatting them. He already has 69% bonus attack damage from squatting them. Even though he didn't squat them often yet. This guy's stacking up. The more allies die, the more AP he gets. And... GG! Vivon! Not too bad. Good game, guys. The Nar pulled through. Even though he got nerfed and stuff, he pulled through. Very nice.
subscribe orientation bell if you enjoy these CFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video. Indeed, the algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time. Peace.